Shalom my beloved brothers and sisters This is a very beautiful day It is always an amazing moment to spend time with you To speak these words of encouragement Remember, I always come here to speak words of encouragement And also, I speak words of direction to somebody who is watching me right about now my brothers and sisters i have yet another powerful word for you and the word is they are going to try and come back they are people that you have defeated they are enemies that you have had victory over but my brothers and sisters i encourage you to stay on guard i encourage you to be a watchman because they are going to try and come back remember the enemy never wants to give up. The enemy never wants to, de to admit defeat. He knows his end. He knows that he's going to be defeated. But he will try to come back. That's why prayer is required. That is why Jesus tells us that men ought to pray and not faint. You are supposed to pray without ceasing. Be like a watchman. Because the enemy that you defeated is trying to come back. Some of you, you were successful last year. Your business was doing well. But right now, it seems like your business is going down. The enemy is coming back. He's coming back in form of poverty. So you have to meditate on scriptures that talk about money. The enemy is coming back in form of other diseases. You defeated one disease, but another disease is coming. Or the same disease is showing signs. It is important that you meditate on scriptures that talk about healing. It is important that you keep yourself in prayer. Some of you, the same problem that you experienced last year is the same problem that is coming up this year. It is like a vicious cycle. It is like something that is coming all around. You hit it from this corner, it shows up from the other corner. I'm speaking to somebody right now that you are going through this problem. Last year you had a job this year it seems like you are jobless some of you are struggling with rent but i'm here to encourage you that if you keep on uh, declaring and decreeing the promises of god the word of god you are going to prosper scripture says that you shall declare a thing and it shall be established when you declare a thing in the word of God, it has to be according to the word of God. It is going to be established. Brothers and sisters, they are going to come back. So don't sleep. Don't slumber. The enemy that you had victory over, the witch that you had victory over, is coming back with 10 more. He's coming back with his, with his friends. That's why you see it's important that you grow in the word of God. The scripture says that so mightly grew in the word and prevailed. When you grow in the word, you will prevail. Prevail over what? Over your problems. Prevail over what? Over your circumstance. You prevail over your condition. So my brothers and sisters, some of you are still in the process of defeating your enemy and it seems like your enemy it seems like there's a ceasefire it seems like your enemy is hiding somewhere just because uh, the battle has stopped it does not mean that the battle will never come back again it does not mean that the battle will not ne never continue some of your enemy is just hiding trying to fool you to make you think that you have won the battle but keep pray because when you keep praying when you keep declaring the word of god you have total victory over your enemy total victory over your circumstances and once you defeat him you will defeat him once and for all because jesus has already defeated the enemy jesus was the perfect example to spiritual warfare my brothers and sisters this is the word that i have for you they are going to come back but what you do next is very important my encouragement to you is to keep meditating on the word of god keep speaking the word of god keep praying until next time god bless you